princesses and princesses. How are you today? Also incredible. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome kids. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yay! Give applause to Jesus! Yay! Okay, boys and girls, Kadiana tidak pernah bosan untuk mengingatkan kalian semua untuk tetap menjaga kesehatan dan juga kebersihan ya, agar kita semua dapat terhindar dari berbagai macam penyakit. Okay, princess and princesses. Hari ini kita tetap melaksanakan ibadah online, tapi tidak apa-apa. Itu tidak sama sekali mengurangi semangat kita untuk memuji Tuhan. Yay! So, I invite you to stand up please and let's praise Jesus! Come on! Kelas besar dan kelas kecil, Kak Diana harap kita semua tetap bersyukur kepada Tuhan walaupun mungkin hari ini kita tidak bisa keluar kemana-mana. Kita harus tetap di rumah, menjaga diri, dan mematuhi peraturan pemerintah. Tapi jangan khawatir, karena Tuhan tetap bersama-sama kita semua. Kak Diana bersyukur sekali karena Kak Diana masih sehat, papa mama masih sehat, kakak-kakak masih sehat. Jadi adik-adik juga jangan pernah lupa untuk bersyukur ya Karena kita semua masih diberikan kekuatan sama Tuhan Adik-adik sekarang kita mau mendengarkan firman Tuhan Jadi siapkan hatimu, siapkan pikiranmu Siapkan seluruh jiwamu untuk mendengarkan Apa yang akan Tuhan sampaikan lewat hambanya Let's see. 
princesses. How are you today? Awesome? Incredible? Yes, yes, yeah! Awesome kids! Yes I am! Yes I am! Yeah! Alright, princes and princesses, before we start the service today, let's prepare our heart. Let's ask Jesus to stay in our heart so we can understand his words. Now close your eyes and bow your head. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for protecting us. Thank you so much for keeping us safe. Thank you so much for your love that never stops. Now we're ready for your words. Please be with us and stay in our heart. We want to understand your words and do your words. Thank you, Jesus. This is us. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, princes and princesses. If you remember last week, I shared about Passover. Passover is victory, yeah, victory, because that is the time when Jesus is back to life. All right, now let's look at the slides that I have prepared to share with you. Here we go. This is about Jesus' appearance. So after his tomb was empty, of course, of course, he made appearance. Let's have a look. Jesus' appearance witnesses to Christ. That means you and me, we have to be the witnesses of Christ. Okay? The appearance of Jesus, was it trustworthy and believable? One thing we know for sure, without any doubt, is Jesus rose from the dead to save us. Yeah, can you imagine if Jesus just died and he never rose? What would have happened? He would have been just the same as an ordinary person. He is not ordinary, he is God. He's totally different. That's why he had to rise. That's why last week we celebrated Passover. The second point, we are just finishing the celebration of Passover in which we learned Christ's death and his coming back to life. And the third, what happened next? What did his disciples and people around him believe? Let's find out. Right, now you can open your Bible and turn to Luke chapter 24. Lucas pasal 24. Okay, Luke 24 from verse 36 to verse 49. I've made these explanations for you. The first one, Jesus gave peace and didn't want his disciples to feel troubled and have doubts. This explanation can be seen from verses 36 to 38. And the second point, Jesus proved himself to them by showing his hands and feet. That can be found in verses 39 and 40 his disciples might have thought that no way come on Jesus died come on how can we believe that and yet Jesus showed his hands and feet that had holes from being nailed on the cross 
he showed his hands and feet so that his disciples would believe that it was him it was Jesus who appeared before them Jesus offered them another sign that his body was real and had a physical reality by asking the disciples if they had anything to eat that's from verses 41 to 43 yeah as a person we eat that's why Jesus had to show it to them too that his appearance at that moment was real he wasn't a ghost he wasn't any other spirit he was Jesus yeah that's why he asked them if they had anything to eat to show that as a person he also ate Jesus told his disciples that his suffering and resurrection were fulfillment of scriptures this explanation yeah is concluded from verses 44 to 46 and the last one the last note i made was jesus told them that they were the witnesses of what had happened this is from verses 48 and 49 Boys and girls, you and I are his disciples. So what do we do as his disciples? We have to be the witnesses. We have to be the witnesses of Jesus. You and I are witnesses to God. So what do you do so the message can be conveyed, can be delivered? Be the salt of the world. Just like cooked vegetables, when they are not salted, they taste plain. You don't want your existence to be disliked. So start from yourself, like throwing trash into a bin, respecting your parents, teachers, elders, and also care about your friends and your sisters or brothers. And the next one, as a witness of God, witness to God, be the light of the world can you see when there is blackout the lights at your house are off can you see no that will be difficult yeah when you're in the dark it's dangerous you might trip and bump onto something the same as this life when others cannot do good deeds you instead do good so people can see your light and follow your good path. So boys and girls, remember you and I, we are witnesses to God. So we need to do good deeds so that everybody can see, people around us can see that we are true followers of Jesus. So the memory verse of today is taken from Luke 24 verse 47. and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem let's close in prayer thank you so much dear god thank you so much please help us so we can be the witnesses to you so everybody can see the light and salt in our life thank you in your name we pray Amen. Boys and girls, stay healthy. Keep washing your hands. Stay hygiene and keep pray. Always pray. Bye-bye. God bless you. Karena kita sudah selesai mendengarkan firman Tuhan Adik-adik, sekarang kita akan beraktivitas seperti biasa. Aktivitas kita hari ini kita akan menempel. Apa yang akan kita tempel Adik-adik? Kita akan menempel Tanda salib Tuhan Yesus seperti ini Nah, bagaimana cara membuatnya sih Kak? Nah, adik-adik Kak Dubat akan menjelaskan cara membuatnya Adik-adik perhatikan baik-baik ya 
alat-alat yang kita gunakan yang pertama gunting yang kedua glue stick yang ketiga pensil warna cair yang keempat pulpen yang kelima pensil kemudian bahan yang kita gunakan yang pertama kertas HPS dan yang kedua kertas origami sekarang kertas origami dipotong kecil-kecil seperti ini setelah adik-adik mempersiapkan bahan-bahannya dan juga alat-alatnya sekarang kita akan membentuk tanda salib seperti ini kemudian tanda salibnya digaris-garis bagian dalamnya seperti ini kertas origami yang sudah dipotong kecil-kecil kita mulai menempelkannya di tanda salib yang sudah kita bentuk sehingga bentuknya seperti ini Oke adik-adik, selamat membuat aktivitasnya Tuhan Yesus memberkati